Another shaking surprise for the Piney Woods for the second time in just a week and just the fourth time since 1981, an earthquake rocked East Texas. Early this morning around 3 o'clock, a 4.3 magnitude earthquake hit about four miles east of Timpson in Shelby County. That's only about six miles from where another moderate timbler was reported last week. Homeowners across Timpson had all sorts of damage. Suddenly there was this loud boom as if something has, had exploded. The Brandon family got woken up with bricks from their chimney landing on the roof and picture frames falling from the walls. Glass fell in the bed and broke and fell on the floor and broke. All over the house, really, there was broken glass. You can see the effects of the 4.3 magnitude earthquake from Dollar General surveillance video. Timpson residents just hope they don't have to see it again. So scared. If it happened again, I hope I got a man wrapped around my neck. <laughs> In northern Nacogdoches County, Leslie's photo gallery is out of kilter. The whole floor was rumbling and shaking, and you could actually hear a rumbling. It was almost like a, a train, you know, going by. The quake cracked Leslie's patio and opened her kitchen drawers. Yes, so when I came around the corner, I nearly tore my leg off. Two earthquakes in less than a week. Experts warn there could be more. And tonight, geologists are still searching for answers about what triggered two earthquakes in a week. East Texas News 9's Alexis Spears finds out why one SFA professor says these tremors could actually prevent a catastrophe. It was, uh, SFA geology professor Dr. Wesley Brown searches for answers, hoping to get to the bottom of the recent earthquake activity in East Texas. In the end, we might not be able to 100% say what is causing it, but we'll be able to eliminate certain causes and so forth. Brown speculates last week's earthquake may have actually been a precursor to this week's. Define this one as the earthquake event, and maybe last week would be a foreshock. Although there have been two earthquakes relatively close to one another in less than a week's time, Dr. Brown says the occurrences may actually be a good thing. Small earthquakes can be a blessing in disguise. Brown says these earthquakes felt in cities like Nacogdoches and across much of East Texas are considered to be relatively mild. This activity, he says, could be the Earth's way of slowly shifting over time instead of shifting all at once and causing a larger scale catastrophe. That way, you really don't have to worry about a big earthquake because you know the Earth is venting, venting, venting. However, Brown says he's looking at all possible causes, including the influence of human hands. It could be man-made and it could be tectonic. Brown says these small earthquakes are suspicious and the possible rise in the practice of injecting liquid waste into the Earth's surface may be causing the plates to shift, or it may just be a natural occurrence. If you go back historically, uh, they've been uh, in the range of 3.0 to 4.0 in terms of the highest uh, magnitude. A report being conducted on East Texas hopes to pinpoint the causes of these earthquakes in the coming months. In Nacogdoches, Alexis Spears, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Dr. Brown says continued earthquake activity is always a possibility. He also says that earthquake analysis should be released by September. That report, he hopes, will provide many needed answers. We're still getting reports of damage from the 4.3 magnitude earthquake that rattled East Texas yesterday. A Nacogdoches apartment maintenance worker immediately started walking the property looking for signs of the quake. He found one. East Texas News 9's Donna McCollum reports the discovery was a sinkhole. All sinkholes have to start somewhere. That's why Northway Landing apartment maintenance man Steve Gaddy got concerned about this basketball-sized hole he found after the earthquake. We suggested environmental health manager Tommy Wheeler be notified. Wheeler came right out and confirmed a sinkhole was in the making. Wheeler detected a larger depression that slipped by untrained eyes. It appears to be at least three to six feet deep and probably eight foot in diameter. Engineers are reviewing development maps in search of old drainage ditches or even a well. Wheeler found a drain in an adjacent parking lot which could be the erosion source. Excessive rain may be an underlying cause, but the earthquake probably got things moving. Since the sinkhole is on private property, it will probably be up to the management to fill it in. Right now, barriers are around the hole to protect residents of the assisted living complex. And sewer lines and the dam were checked out and appear to be fine.